I wonder what haul video I've got for you today. Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Well today, as you can see guys, we have got hats in this haul. Um, so yeah, essentially there was a lot of vintage hats at the auction and I couldn't say no. Um, I did go like £5 over my maximum. I can't remember, I can't even, this was like two weeks ago, but I still can't remember. I got these for either 40 quid or £45 plus commission, one of the two anyway. I'm thinking it was 40 but then something else was telling me maybe I went an extra five or and went to 45. Um, but yeah, essentially, I would have liked to get these for a little bit less. But there's still going to be some money in them. Um, and yeah, they'll be really, really nice to deal with. Really, really nice to list and stuff. I absolutely love listing this sort of stuff. So without further ado, we've got the first hat. I've actually got it on. Um, it's kind of like a, uh, you know, Sherlock Holmes style hat. Now, I don't know the actual style of this hat. Probably one of the only styles I actually don't know because I know quite a lot of the different styles of hats from obviously having a lot of hats myself. Um, but yeah, I don't know the actual style. Obviously, it's like kind of a dog tooth design. You know, but like the pattern on there is quite dog tooth. And then it's got this little, um, I don't know what you'd even call that. It's kind of like a little bow on top, but it's not really a bow, is it? Because it's not really a woman's hat. But yeah, so essentially... Um, this doesn't actually have a brand on it, which I was a bit quite surprised with. Um, now, I've not done any research on this, but I'm confident that I could get minimum about 20 or 25 for this because it is a vintage hat. It is really nice. I don't know whether you can see the quality of it, but it is really nice quality. You can tell that it's been quite well made. So I'm thinking minimum about 20 or 25 on that. So I'm thinking maybe I'll probably shoot for 25. But as I say, I'll do a bit more research on that. This is the only one I've not done research on. All the rest I know prices on. So don't worry about that. So I will get the next one up. So next, I'm not actually going to wear this one because the green screen went a little bit mad before when I was trying to do an introduction with this one on and it just, yeah, it wasn't having it. Um, but this is a, I think you'll probably be able to see that there, I'm not sure. Don't know whether you will. Wil it says Wilson and Stafford, it's a uh, 58 or I think it's, I think it's a 7 and one eight or something so that must be equivalent to 58 centimeters so 58 is like a medium so it's a half decent size obviously with a lot of the top hats like a large would be better um but yeah this is like a, about a medium and it's quite nice you know it's got like a great just a gray top hat there are there are a few of these on um for about 40 i think about 40 to 50 but it does say brand new now i don't know whether that's with with a box or anything but obviously this one I'm going to be classing this as used so I'm thinking of going about 30 quid plus postage on this one and seeing um, seeing if there's any takers for about that range but as you can see there quite a nice top hat and I'll just spin it around for you this side you can see there's a little like a uh, bow on here like uh, you know most have like that um, but yeah quite nice I don't know what it's made of, but it's some probably some sort of felt or something. I'm not sure. I think, didn't some of these have like, weren't the early ones made of like mole skin or something? I don't know. I'm just guessing. But yeah, anyway, uh, that's that one. Quite a nice one. Happy to get a top hat. I've not sold a top hat in ages. So yeah, quite happy with that one. Next is something really uh, quite quirky. Um, I don't know whether you're going to see the brand here because there's so much fur in my way. I don't know whether you're going to see that. I probably won't pick it up because it won't focus in very well. But it says Kangol, so it's obviously Kangol is a well-known brand. Let's see if you can see that a bit better there. Oh, no. No, there's too much fur in the way. But it's got a little badge on it, a little Kangol badge. And it says, apparently, in here somewhere, I did get it out before. Um, ah, here we go. Rabbit fur hats made in, I think that's meant to, no, it's a, I don't know whether that's meant to be China or somewhere else, but it doesn't say China. It says C-N-I-N-A, so I don't even know what that stands for. Maybe it is China, maybe it's not. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is pretty cool. There isn't any on or any sold in this country. Um, there's a few international um, listings on there and a few sold international listings on there, but there's none sold in this country. I'm thinking of going to be going to shoot for about 30 on this. And just see where I end up. I might go a little bit higher. It is, again, it's a very good quality hat. Um, you can just feel it within the hat. It's just a really nice quality hat. So I am going to go for about that. It might sound a little bit high, but I'm going to go for around that. 
And uh, yeah, we'll see where I end up on that one. But it's quite interesting. I don't know whether it... Well, I'm assuming it must be rabbit, rabbit fur. So it must be like actual rabbit fur. So I think I can sell this on eBay because you can sell taxidermy and stuff on there. But I will double check because as, as you know, I've had a couple of bands in the past. And I don't really want to get into that kind of thing of having a ban or anything like that again. Um, because, you know, eBay after a certain amount of bans will just like shut your account right down so yeah i'm gonna be i'm very very careful on what i list these days so i will double check with this one um because it is one of them you just think mm, should i list it shouldn't i but yeah i think i should be okay with it anyway um but yeah quite a quirky one that one so next is a really nice hat here um we've got obviously a brown uh, bowler hat um, and again, you you might be able to see that it's got this little like ribbon on here, um, and inside it's got this lovely red lining. I don't know what the lining is made of. Uh, maybe silk or something. I don't know. I'm not sure what the linings of these are made of. But you can see in there, or well, maybe just about make out that it is a Christie's of London hat. There, um, the size is. Uh, UK 7 and 1 8 which again is 50 cent 58 centimeters so a decent size again and it is in really really good shape this one really really nice condition obviously it'll have a little bit of age to it so you know it's in decent condition for that um, and yeah really really well made hat I'm thinking of going about 40 quid on this there's only two on um, and I think there's only been one sold one has sold brand new for 120 quid um, but there's one on um, used for like 40 quid. There's another one brand new on still for 120. But then I scrolled down the list and I saw some other slight variants of this hat go for like sort of 10 to 20 quid. So I don't... Oh, sorry, the focus has gone a bit. There we go. Um, so I don't know how realistic maybe going 50 or 60 would be. Maybe I could go 50 or 60, you know, sort of half the brand new price. But I don't know whether I'm going to achieve it. I might go that high and just work my way down slowly. Um, but if I'm going to be working my way down anyway and I end up about 40, I may as well just price at 40 um, in the beginning. But yeah, I might go a little bit higher and, and see if I can achieve it. So yeah, quite a nice hat, that that one. As you can see there, lovely brown colour as well. I really do like that one. It is very, very tempting. I don't see, say this often for a lot of my stock. But it is very, very tempting for me to keep quite a few of these, like pretty much all of them, to be honest. There's a really nice boating hat in a minute that I'm so tempted to keep. Um, and I'm sure you will love that one when you see it in a sec. So the second to last hat is this uh, lovely sort of, I suppose it's a dark olive green uh, trilby. I mean, you maybe could class it as a fedora. Um, I can never distinguish between those two. I know there is meant to be a slight, a subtle difference. Um, but to be honest, whenever I see one, I can never tell whether it's a fedora or a trilby. Now, obviously, if it's a Panama hat, there is a slight difference and you can, you can kind of notice a Panama hat. Um, opposed to a Trilby or a Fedora. But yeah, anyway, it's a Trilby or Fedora. I would I would lean on the side of Trilby with this one, actually. Um, but you never know. Someone in the comments could point out I'm wrong with that. Um, but yeah, so it is... Again, I'm trying to get it to focus, but I don't know whether it will in there. But again, you've got the emblem in there for Christie's of London. So again, it's a Christie's hat. Again, lovely condition. Again, it's... A, oh no, it's a 57 centimetres, this one. So it's a little bit smaller, but it still fits me a treat. So... I'm sure it would fit a lot of people a treat as well. Um, so yeah, essentially I was a little bit disappointed with this one because there, there's one on brand new for 25 quid or something. And I was really thinking, you know, brand new, this hat would be about 40, 50 quid. And then used, you'd maybe be able to get about, you know, 25 quid, something like that. So I was a little bit disappointed in that one. But I'm st And one is sold also for £15 plus postage in used condition. But I'm still thinking of going for 20 quid plus postage and just help holding out maybe the one that's on there for 25 brand new you know, their cells and then there's none on, on their brand new or whatever. And then obviously someone will pick mine off for £20 plus postage. But I'm going to hold out on that one for 20 quid because I do feel it does, does deserve it. Again, you can see it there in all its glory. It's a lovely little hat there. I don't know how well the, the you know, the, the olive green or the dark green is coming out. Um, but yeah, it's quite a nice hat there. And then finally, we've got this really, really lovely um, sort of a boating hat. 
I always think of like Venice when I see these hats. I've only ever been to Venice once, um, but I'm pretty sure these they wear, they wear these style hats on like the gondolas and stuff. Um, but the amount that I don't even know what I'm even saying now. But I'm trying to say how uh, I don't know how to say this, but it's a really sturdy hat. That's what I'm trying to say. It feels like almost unbreakable. This hat. I mean. You can tell, I can tell just touching this how good quality this is. Uh, some of the lesser quality ones, I've actually got one round there. I've got one of the lesser quality ones of these. They're kind of a bit flimsy. Um, they're not made as well. But this one is really, it's really, really strong. It's got good, it's been really, really well made. So uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy with this one. And there is the brand inside there. Oh, I don't even know how to say that. Only, only only i don't know only headwear anyway only i can't even say that only only anyway i don't know anyway you can see it there o l n e y i am terrible with saying stuff today um but yeah it's a really really nice hat just have a try this one on oh it's a little bit tight for me actually this one but it's still it's okay the green screen doesn't like it um so yeah, really, really nice, and I was thinking, you know, this has got to be every bit of 30, 40 quid, something like that, and um, sure enough, I looked on solds, and I looked on eBay, uh, you know, just listed, and there was one listed brand new for like 50 quid, there was one sold brand new for around 50 quid, there was another one, a slight variation of, to this one, that had sold for £79 brand new, and then there was a few sold for, you know, a bit lower, you know, like 20 quid, 25 quid, um, used i'm thinking of going high on this one i'm thinking of going you know that 30 to 40 range even though it is used and i'm just gonna you know come down accordingly but i do think 30 quid would be my low on this one i wouldn't want to take any less considering that a lot of these are selling brand new for 50 to 70 really i would want to get 30 quid for this it's a lovely hat um, and yeah, it, you know, it's in decent condition. There's nothing too bad with it. You know, sometimes I would imagine with the, I don't know, but I would imagine some of the straw might get a little bit, I don't know, a little bit loose or something. Maybe not as uh, held together as well. But yeah, it's pretty decent. The ribbon, there's a little bit of wear around it, but I don't think anything too bad. It shouldn't be too bad there. Um, and again, we've got this kind of little uh, knot or this little ribbon thing on there on the side with most of these hats. I don't know why that why they actually put that ribbon on. I need to look into that because it seems like a lot of hats have this little ribbon thing on the side here. It must just be for decorative purposes, but I, yeah, anyway. So that's that one. I really do like that one. Really nice hat. So I've got a couple of Royal Dalton figures to share with you as well. I thought I got a, uh, a lot only with only two items in the lot. Just took a little bit of a punt on it, actually. Um, and yeah, it seems it's going to do me okay. So I thought, you know what, I'll show you them as well uh, while I'm in the process of doing the hat haul. Right, guys, so I've now got the Royal Dalton figures up. Only a couple of them. I actually took a punt on these. I paid £20 plus commission. I don't know whether I said in the last segment, but I paid £20 plus commission for these two. Um, and yeah, I'm fairly happy with the results. I mean, as I say, it was a punt. Um, I just literally clicked the bid button. I wasn't really... I, you know, I didn't do much research or anything like that. It, these weren't one of my locks that I did research on previous to the auction starting or anything. So yeah, it was a little bit of a punt. But obviously, when you when you get a feel for what you're selling, you can kind of make judgment calls, and you know you're going to be reasonably okay for a certain price point. So yeah, twenty pound plus commission. I kind of did feel fairly safe on these. Um, so this is a Royal Dalton um, cup of tea figure. I don't know how well this is going to focus in. Um, because I'm still in the frame here, so I don't know how well that's going to do. But um, essentially, it's just an old lady with a cup of tea. Quite a nice little figure, actually. Um, underneath, um, I don't know. I'll try and get this to focus in, actually, if I move myself out of the way a bit. Mm, I don't know whether that's trying... Oh, there we go. It's focusing in a bit. The cup of tea, it says, or something there. Um, this figure tends to go around $34.99. I think I saw one go for $34.99 anyway. So I'm going to shoot for, you know, just that on, on this figure, $34.99 plus postage. And obviously that will get my £20 plus commission back and a little bit of profit. So I'm quite happy with that one. Nice little figure. And I definitely want to get into uh, picking up some more Royal Dalton figures because 
I really do have a love for them, but sometimes I've not. I mean, I've not really. Uh, I, I never really. Um, you know, give them much attention at the auction because they always think, oh, they're just going to go too high anyway. But I do think there are certain lo lots that you can pick up and make a little bit of money on them. But generally, some of the smaller lots of Royal Dalton figures at auction just go too high because there's collectors bidding on them and obviously they're going to pay a lot more than what resellers can pay and dealers can pay. So, yeah, nice little figure, that one. And then finally, uh, in the lot, again, just a two-item lot, this one, um, was this uh, Royal Dalton The Sleuth figure i don't know whether it's kind of a take on uh, sherlock holmes or something like that um but there it is there in all its glory lovely little um figure this one and yeah as you can see uh, i'll just show you the underneath i've actually still got a part lot sticker on it so i apologize about that um i don't know how well you're gonna see it but it says royal dalton the sleuth on there um and yeah essentially this one's about 24.99 plus postage i've seen one go at that range so i'm quite happy with that Obviously, that one will be my profit. Uh, well, that one will basically pay for the lot and give me a bit of profit. And then this one after postage and fees will be all profit. So when all said and done, I'll probably just over double my money on the lot. So it's not too bad, you know. I mean, I think, as I say, I paid about 24 quid. That's including commission. And I'll get my money back on that one and maybe like, what, five quid profit or something, maybe a little bit more. And then obviously I'll get like, what, 18 to 20 quid profit, something like that on this one. So yeah, I think there's probably about double my money in it. Now, would I have liked a little bit of a better margin? Probably. But for a little bit of a stab in the dark, I, I consider that a win. So I'm quite happy with that. So yeah, there's that one there. Nice little figures. Um, and yeah, I'll leave it there, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like if you haven't already. Please do subscribe and I will see you in the next one, which will be very soon.